Welcome back to the bench. This is going to be a little bit different of sanding and filling today. Wow. I remember. Whew, it been like five videos of me sanding and filling stuff. Oh, it's awful. So I'm getting there. So um, I already have another video that is going to come out after this one that's already been filmed with progress on the Starfighter. But um, I got these tools here from AccuSize. I have used these in the past. They are a different set of lathe turning tools here. So um, we got a threading bar, boring bar, and different whatnots. And I want to know if um, I pull this out here of the Proxon lathe here. I want to see if this boring bar fits in here. So. No, it doesn't. So, what is the size of this boring bar? So we got a 6.45 millimeter boring bar, and it's about 6.3 millimeter shanks on these. So these are quarter inch. So, so we got the boring bar that is a little too big just having a hard time finding a small one then we have this threading tool here um, which I'm probably not going to use for threading it is 5.62 so what I could theoretically do is grind this down to fit in here and turn it into a boring bar which I probably plan on doing then we have Appears to be the chamfer tool here. 60 degree tool here. So we got a grooving tool. Oh, this is an external threading tool. Oh, interesting. So that was going to be a groover, but it's an external threading tool. So they're all written on there. So let's thank AccuSize for these. Um, we got a 60 degree radius facing tool. Got a chamfer tool that was, I'm sorry. Then we got an external grooving tool here. What is the millimeters on this? This is 2.36 millimeters. So, it's not bad. So, and we have the two different directional um, 80 degree facing tools. This is the right and this is the left. Let's, um, let's give one of these a whirl here. Um, let's spin this. Spring up the Peroxon FD 150E and we will rotate this here hopefully without that tighten down should be square from the last time we used it. Let's bring this up a little bit here. Let's we'll see how one of these spacing tools works. Let's put our let's um I'll bump the camera there, sorry about that. Let's just put in our standard test piece here that we've been messing with. So Turn a little bit down on this. X 
works, and I want to see if I can get into the tool holder here, or the tailstock, and also work with one of these tools. Alright, so let's... Yep, we're good. Alright. See if that gets in there. Uh, it barely gets in there with the tailstock in there. We could take a small pass with it. Let's, um, let's check... Let's check to see if these line up center without a shim. So pull that back. So probably need a super thin shim here. Let's see what that looks like here. It's not the right bit for that. Alright, let's see there. Oh, looks about center. Let's see what happens when we fire this up here. I'm going to take a little cut with it. It's not bad. It's still in here. I'm sorry if I got in the way on what I'm trying to see. Let's just kiss it. Back that off, set our zero. Let's go in 0.6 of a millimeter. This is going to tell me how true my um, setup is here, so we're going to test that right now. Alright, so, in theory, the diameter should be the same all the way down that turning I just did. And so, so we have this here, so we got it, turn that down. See what we got at the top. The top we got 8.5, and at the bottom 8.55. So it's straight. The piece definitely wasn't spinning true in the lathe, but I saw that. I saw the wobble on that. Um, a lot of um, tear out or machining lines on this. I probably could have. Um, got rid of that. I went a little slower. Loosen this up a little bit because this is a little tight but I do a little I don't need to do much with that. I might mess with that um, later. But not bad. Not bad. So what's well,
Well, alright, so we mess with that. Let's see what else we can mess with here. Yeah, let's let, let's let's try to part this off and see how the parting works or the grooving tool here. Shouldn't have any issue. I'm probably gonna have to shim it again, but you know, that's not an issue. Let's just try the parting tool here. Sure you clean your tools before you put them away. You don't want any of that um, debris on them. Put a fresh coat of wax, some Johnson's wax on those. Let's try this parting tool right here. Make sure it's cleaned off. Make sure in here is good. Blast of air. Alright, let's see what it looks like just in there. Okay, so. That look pretty good. It might be pretty good the way it is. Yeah, actually, that one's a little. That one actually may be a little bit high. Here, let's see if we can cut that off right, right there. Does that spin without hitting anything? Yes, it does. This rod here, catch it. Good, there we go. So Cut that off, not bad. Not bad at all. So, yeah. I really thought they were Accu Sure, but it's Accu Size. Not bad. Um, they sent me this and they asked me if I liked it to do a review on it, and possibly they would send me some other sizes for the 250. So, but what I'm in desperate need of is a smaller boring bar, like a one or three millimeter boring bar, probably three mil. I know I have a carbide three bill, three mil, but I don't know if I want to go and deal with getting it, and if it's still there. It's probably been used, dulled, and broken. All right, so that's gonna do it for this. Again, AccuSize. Lathe tools, Proxon, um, FD-150, some more stuff on there. Um, I'm going to be doing more stuff. I just need to work out some more tooling. I'm probably going to come up with some kind of makeshift grinder. Now, I have my own ways of boring out this, um, this stock without a boring bar. I have issues doing that. If you want to know how I do that, join the Discord link in the description. That's not something I want to share on YouTube because it's not the safest. Um, it's not the safest avenue of boring. Um, I've been injured by the tool that I use for boring, so you have to be careful, guys. Um, that's going to do it for this quick review of this AccuSize Industrial Tools little lathe set. This is the eight-piece high-speed steel, uh, quarter-inch size. This uses six to probably fit eight in here, um, but this uses the six to eight. Um, so I got the quarter inch, which would work. I think the uh, 
three sixteenths or the three eighths would work too. Um, I can't remember. What, I think three eighths is the other one. So, but that's what we got. Thank you so much, and have a fantastic day.